Hello and welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem on volume of cubes and cuboids. It says that Josh built a rectangular cardboard box 18 centimeters high with a square base and a volume of 2,178 centimeters cube. Then he realized he did not need a box that large. So he chopped off the height of the box, reducing its volume to 1,331 centimeters cube. Was the new box cubical? Okay, so here is what we have. We have a box, okay, a cardboard box. Actually, Josh, he built a cardboard box, something like this, okay? And then he realized he did not need this box that large. So he chopped off the height of the box, okay? So he chopped off, you know, some parts of it from the top, reducing its volume. And we have to find out now if this new box was cubical. Now, what's meant by cubical? Well, a cubical box is a cube, which means that its length, breadth, and height should all be the same. Or they should all be equal. Okay, so we have to find out if that's the case. Now, let's see. What are the things that are given to us? We know here that originally the height of the box was 18 centimeters. Okay, it was 18 centimeters high, which means its height was 18 centimeters. So, from here to here was 18 centimeters. All right. Next, it had a square base. Okay. The base is made of the length and the breadth, right? This is the length and this is the breadth and the rectangle, which is at the bottom and is made of the length and the breadth is the base. And this base is a square, which tells us that the length was equal to the breadth okay so we already know that the length is equal to the breadth okay let me write that properly now we have to find out that after chopping the height was the height also equal to the length and the breadth let's see so we have the volume which is equal to 2178 cubic centimeters. So before the box was cut, its volume was 2,178 cubic centimeters. Now we know that volume of a rectangular box or a cuboid is equal to the product of its length, breadth, and height. Okay, now let's look at this equation. What are the things that we know? We know that the volume was 2,178 cubic centimeters, okay? And the length is equal to the breadth. So we can write that as length times length, right? Because the breadth is also equal to the length, so it's length times length. And the height is equal to 18 centimeters. This is centimeter cube, okay? So the volume is 2,178 centimeter cube, and the height is equal to 18 centimeters, from this, can you find out what the length is? Well, let's see. Length times length, we can find out what the length times length is equal to from here. So if you divide 2,178 by 18, then you will know what the square of length is equal to, which means length times length. Okay, so how about I use a calculator to make the calculation fast? So 2,178 divided by 18. Well, that's equal to 121. So this is equal to 121, and that is length times length. Now, what can you tell about the length from here? Well, the length would then be the square root of 121, right? Well, which number times the same number gives you 121? Well, you should know by now that that number is 11. And the length is there for 11 centimeters. So actually 11 times 11 is 121. So length is equal to 11 centimeters. So that tells us that this length is equal to 11 centimeters and the breadth as well is equal to 11 centimeters. So this was the length and this was the breadth of the box before it was chopped. Okay, now let's chop off this box. Okay, let's uh, cut this box because that's what Josh did. He realized that his box was too large, so he chopped off the height of the box. Okay, so let's uh, do that. Let's do some chopping here. So let's suppose that, you know, the new height of the box was uh, maybe until here. Okay, so we chop off some of the 
box, some part of the box. So let me do that here quickly. So I'm marking all these edges dotted just to show that they have been chopped off. Okay. All right. Now, what can we say about the height of the new box? Well, the height of the box is certainly now less than 18 centimeters, right? Because the box has been chopped off. The height of the box has been chopped off. So it's certainly not as high as it was before. But what can we tell about the length and the breadth? Are they still the same? Well, quite obviously, yes, they're still the same. The length hasn't changed and the breadth hasn't changed. All that has changed is the height of the box. So can we calculate now what the height of the box is given that its new volume is 1,331 cubic centimeters? Actually, quite easily we can do that. Well, if we use the same formula here, okay, that volume is equal to length times breadth times height but now the height is no longer 18 centimeters the height is now we don't know we have to calculate that but we know that the length is 11 centimeters and the breadth is also 11 centimeters and now the new volume is 1331 cubic centimeters so we replace uh, some of the things here in the equation so we change the data okay basically so let me make some room here so now volume is equal to 1331 cubic centimeters and length is equal to 11 centimeters the breadth is equal to 11 centimeters and we have to find out what the height is equal to that's the unknown side here the unknown edge here okay now how do we find out the height well quite simple we move the length and the breadth to the other side of the equal sign which is we divide 1331 by the length and the breadth and that will give us the new height of the cardboard box okay now we have to find out if this height is also equal to 11 centimeters because then the box would be cubical if it's not equal to 11 centimeters if it's more than 11 centimeters or less than 11 centimeters then the box is not cubical okay so let's find that out 1331 divided by 11 times 11 so let's do that let me use the calculator one more time so i have 1331 and i divide that by 11 and divide that again by 11 and I get 11 centimeters so here you go this is equal to 11 centimeters and this is the new height of the box and indeed since the length the breadth and the height they are all equal to 11 centimeters the new box is a cube or it's a cubicle box well, that's it for now. I hope you understood this simple problem and uh, you understood how to solve it. And uh, now please do go solve some other questions as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.